Already in the course, you know why YouTube is a good investment for your business. You also know the marketing strategy we're going to take. And now in this lecture, we want to focus on really understanding watch time and its importance. It's really the most important metric on YouTube. To give you an example and help explain this, I'm going to come into YouTube and show you the search results here for uh, one of the keywords that I'm going after. So what you can see is that in the search results, you can see the number of views that a video has here. Now in the past, the number of views drove its discover discoverability and rank. So that means if a video had a higher number of views, it would appear at the top of the search results. And also, uh, Google would promote it here in the sidebar uh, to people watching similar videos. So in the past, it was all about views. If you had higher views, Google would or, or YouTube would really promote you. Now that they've changed the main metric, it's no longer views. YouTube will suggest videos in the search or the sidebar recommendations based on watch time. Watch time is really very simple. It's just the amount of time that people watch of your videos. And uh, put very simply, YouTube will promote your videos if they keep users engaged. What I want to show you is actually the watch time metrics for this particular video here. Now we will be looking at YouTube analytics in a lot more detail later on. But you can come in when you publish a video and start to see uh, the views come through, you can actually see a breakdown of the watch time. Uh, you can also see here the audience retention reports. And what you can see here is even for this video, this is one of my first videos, uh, that people, it drops off extremely quickly. A lot of people drop off, drops down to 50% even after a minute. And a lot of people watch it all the way to the end, about 7%. That's still quite a lot of people to watch a 40 minute video. Um, but you can see that retaining audience attention is a challenge. Um, you probably know yourself as you go into YouTube, you flick around, you look at different videos. And so I want you to understand right from the start that watch time is the most important metric. And even the first 30 seconds are critical really grabbing people's attention and holding their attention. If we come into relative audience attention here, uh, we can look at how my video compares to other videos on YouTube. And you can see that I'm about average for it there as well. So not doing too bad. Um, these kind of drop offs that you're seeing here are probably normal according to these relative audience retention figures here. But that's the most important thing you've got to think about, not just getting views. Views is not the important metric you should be focusing on. It's really watch time and audience retention. And the reason that Google shifted to that metric is, is simple. Not only does it provide better content in the search results and discoverability, but YouTube wants you to keep visitors on the site as long as possible because YouTube monetizes through ads. If people stay on the site longer, they watch more, they can advertise to them more, they can essentially make more money. So that is why uh, watch time is golden. I showed you the metrics there that really uh, showed you the watch time, the audience retention. Those are the things you need to keep in mind right from the start, even before you record a minute of video. People's attention, it's easy to lose it. So that's why later on in the course, we're going to talk about the structure for our videos. Um, but really understand right from the start that uh, it's all about audience retention and, and watch time. Okay, now one way to increase your watch time without even creating different types of content is actually through subscribers. There, There's a real advantage to having subscribers. And I'm going to explain all of that in the next lecture, along with a bonus tip to increase your subscribers by 400%.